Welcome friends from across the globe. Today at GCK Daily, we're looking at the consequence or the just desserts of sin. Now I want you to participate in a thought experiment with me. Let's imagine a young man. Under normal circumstances, he should be in good shape, fit and fine. Now imagine that this young man begins to eat sweets three times a day, every single day. He puts on weight, he goes to the doctor's office and is complaining of chest pain. The doctor tells the young man to lay off the sweets, but he doesn't listen. The young man now adds oily foods to his diet. His family members and friends plead with him to stop eating poorly, but he doesn't listen. In just three years, the young man goes from being hale and hearty to sick and stressed. He's suffering from high blood pressure, his arteries are clogged, his skin breaks in and out of pimples, and he is often short of breath. This young man is now experiencing heart disease and diabetes and is at significant risk of a stroke. So what's going on here? The young man is receiving his just desserts. This means that his poor health is deserved punishment for his poor eating habits. So let's listen as we learn some valuable truths from Dr. Kumi about the just desserts of sin. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, reading from verse 9, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, reading from verse 9, I've been talking about transgression, bringing suffering, sin, bringing suffering, iniquity, bringing suffering. What is transgression? What is sin? And what is that evil thing that brings all that into men's lives, women's lives? First Corinthians chapter 6, reading from verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Unrighteousness, what's that? That's the opposite of righteousness. Evil, what's that? That's the opposite of good. Iniquity, what's that? That's the opposite of innocence. If your lie shows, depicts, demonstrates the opposite of righteousness, the opposite of innocence, the opposite of honesty. If your life depicts the opposite of righteousness and holiness, that is the transgression. And the transgression brings sin and it brings suffering and it is repentance that brings forgiveness, redemption, salvation, eternal life. Know ye not that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor the effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. What do we do so that that salvation will come? What must be we, we be willing to do so that new life, eternal life will come? And look at verse 11. It says, and such were some of you, but ye are washed. He'll wash you tonight. But ye are sanctified. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. As you come out of the transgression and you come out of the iniquity and you come out of the evil doing, the Lord will take you tonight. It will save you tonight. It will change your life tonight. It will transform your life tonight. As we've listened, we've discovered a few key points from this message. First, sin is evil. We hear the word sin thrown around quite a lot in church, but what does it really mean? Well, thankfully, the Bible gives us a clear definition. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, the Spirit of God reveals that sin is a transgression of the law. 
That is, sin is disobedience to the will of God as revealed in the Bible. For example, the scriptures in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 reveals that God hates a lying tongue and hands that are quick to shed innocent blood. If you find yourself lying, then you are violating and transgressing God's revealed will against lying. Secondly, sin brings suffering. Just like in the example of the young man with the terrible eating habits, to sin is to engage in a habit that will result in disastrous effects. Sin causes spiritual death. And what does it mean to be spiritually dead? It means to be cut off from fellowship with the Father in heaven, whose very breath is in our nostrils. Sin makes us susceptible to spiritual sicknesses like demonic curses, and bondages, depression, and suicidal thoughts, and unexplainable fear of the future. Third thing is that salvation brings a cure. God calls us out of sin. He does not want us to experience the just deserts of sin. He sent the Son, Jesus, to suffer the consequences of our sin. And when we accept Christ's free offering of salvation through repentance, we escape the spiritual sicknesses and the death that we ordinarily deserve. Jesus has paid the price so that we do not have to. So how can we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? In Revelation chapter 18, I'm reading from verse 4. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. That is, you've been uh, having Babylonish character, Babylonish behavior, Babylonish iniquity, Babylon the picture of defilement and evil and now you don't want the suffering here on earth you don't want the suffering there in hell forever there is one thing to do come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins that ye receive not of her plagues as you come, forgiveness is ready and forgiveness is waiting for you. Eternal life is waiting for you. The favor of God is waiting for you. And the grace of God for salvation, the grace of God for righteousness is waiting for you. It is yours tonight. What is she there? What is she there? It's coming your way salvation healing deliverance coming your way tonight in jesus name now friends once you accept christ's free gift of salvation today he wants to take on the just deserts of your sin if only you will give him your heart take the great step of faith and ask the lord jesus to forgive you of your disobedience to his revealed will Ask him to cleanse the stains of sin from off your soul. Then come out of the world. Put off the Babylonish character and put on the character of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep up your hand as you are standing up and praying with you now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, I come on behalf of every sinner, every transgressor, that has repented and they're calling upon you that they want your salvation, your forgiveness now. Forgive them in Jesus' name. <laughs> Blot out all their transgressions. Change their lives and grant them favor and grace for righteous living in Jesus' name. <laughs> Confirm in their heart the joy of salvation. Grant unto them the peace of salvation. Grant unto everyone the victory in salvation that they will not continue in the old way anymore in Jesus' name. 
Let your spirit bear witness for the heart of the spirit that right now they are saved. They are forgiven. And they have reconciliation with God, redemption from God. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you ready? Yes. Willing? Yes. Believing? Yes. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. I thank you tonight because you are mighty God and because you are God that cannot fail. You have given your word and the word is going to come true. I pray, Lord, manifest your healing power in the lives of the people tonight in Jesus' name. The God who is the same yesterday and today and forever. The God who says, I am God, I change not. Manifest that transforming power, triumphant power in the life of every sick person here today in Jesus' name. Jesus, the same yesterday and today and forever. And you went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. You are going to do today what you have ever done in the past. And therefore, Lord, I pray your healing virtue will flow through everyone right now. Yeah. Healing touch come to everyone right now. Yeah. And healing testimony in every mouth now in Jesus' name. Just yeah. blind eyes, I command you be opened in Jesus' name. Yeah. Insanity, madness, I command that spirit, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. I pray, Lord, by your mighty power, take that deafness away and take that dumbness away in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body. All that swelling, the Lord touch you right now in the neck, in the tummy, in the private part, anywhere, lipantiasis. I command the swelling, come out in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any incredible disease like cancer, like blood just flowing and flowing. I'm asking, Lord, you touch them right now, transform their lives right now, heal them right now, set them free from that cancer in Jesus' name. The kidney problem there, I command, kidney come alive and be healed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any demonic oppression in their body, knocking their head or walking about in their body or just causing incurable problem there, I command that evil spirit walking about in their body, come out in Jesus' name. For those who have any paralysis with that hand or with that leg or stroke or anything like that, and even the broken bones, heal them right now. Lord, heal them right now. Lord, make them to rise and walk in Jesus' name. Impossibilities become possible in your life. And the grace of God and the glory of God and the power of the Lord operate in your life right now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. So we'll sing this prayer. Prayer of David. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. Arise, arise. Take your place, be enthroned. 
ask of you one thing that we desire that as we worship you Lord come and change our lives arise 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 thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily Global Crusade with Pini. We are so sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. Please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handle. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. We would love for you to join us at our next Global Crusade.